10 to go postward here. There are no changes. Of the 10, King Aura will score from the second tier. Here are the Superfecta Pacers. The one is Activator, owned by the Brittany Farms of Versailles, Kentucky, trained by Dan Ader. Cow Ader drives. Next is a two, ER Golden Beach, owned by Bradley Nielsen of Potasco, Ohio, trained and driven by Bob Harper. Number three is Ford Herod, owned by Collins, Almond, and Kathy Collins-Taylor. They're all the Buckeye State, trained and driven by Dean Collins. The four is Carolina Bob, owned and trained by Dick James, and Lebanon, Ohio, the K-Man, Kane Kaufman. Number five is Jenny's Wild Child, owned by Stephen Watkins of Sydney, Ohio, trained by Dan McClock with Adam Rucker. The six, Dan Fenn. On the lessee is also the trainer, Bob Stickley of Urbana, Ohio, Sandy Beatty. Number seven is TNT Hanover, owned by Beverly Bushelman of Franklin, Ohio, trained and driven by Daryl Collins. Of the eight, the Big Wazoo, owned and trained by John Nelson, Perrin of Lebanon, Ohio, J.D. Perrin, the Rainsman. For the outside of the nine, Peg and Pete, tuned by Terry Garrett of Dayton, Ohio, trained by Scott Ferguson, Chatleys. And for the second tier, number 10, King Aura, owned and trained by Roy Murphy of Menden, Ohio, Brett Miller, and the Sulky. That's the field for the 12th race. The back stretch, and there they go for the Superfecta finale. Field in motion. Bang, set on their way. They're all fan pacing and firing away mid-track. There goes Jenny's Wild Child getting the first call, driving through between horses. ER Golden Beach, activator from the rail up on the outside, four deep there to join these. That's Peg and Pete. They spar up top here for command. In between them, racing in fourth. That's the big wazoo. Off stride there on top. Went to the two ER Golden Beach on a bad break there and is now inside the pylons, forcing the one activator inside the pylons as they race by the opening quarter in 29 seconds flat. On by the stands for the first time and heading on down to the half and up top here leading the way. Leading it tier by length and a quarter. That's Jenny's Wild Chowd. Inside racing into the Big Wazoo. Racing third, Peg and Pete. Outer flow beginning to form. Fourth there, Fort here at first stop. Along the outside. Second over the outside. Racing in fifth. That is Carolina Bob. Sixth and pendant at the pylons there as they step around the clubhouse turn in front of the paddock and on over to the halfway mile mark of the race. As they reach the half, they're halfway home 59 and two fifths off the turn and driving down the back side heads are pointed towards three quarters and on top Jenny's wild chow with a lead tear bearing down to the outside in two four tear it is now joining this leader off the pylons here comes the big wazoo racing in third there outside in fourth Carolina Bob penned in racing in five peg and Pete sixth on the inside there as they step towards the three quarter mile mark of the race Dan Finn is switched to the outside as they race by three quarters three quarters and 127 Seven and three fifths. They'll pace the final turn and head for home. And on top of the field, Ford Herod with lead here. Into the outside, racing in second. That's the big wazoo at the rail in third. Jenny's wild shout. You can forget about the rest as they turn to the top of the stretch. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. And on top of the field with lead here, Ford Herod. Into the outside, the big wazoo. Up the inside here is Jenny's wild shout. Once again, as they come to the wire, the big wazoo gets up to win it there in a Bizarre ending, very close there. Ford Herod was also right there at the wire. Time of the mile, 156 and two fifths. One eight three five unofficial. One eight three five unofficial. Inquiry against the unofficial winner of the 12th race, the one activator for racing inside the pylons. Unofficial, hold all those tickets. The race, the eighth, the big wazoo. A four-year-old bay guarding by Doctor of Style out of eight towners, big guy mare, spicy sabra, owned and trained by John Nelson, parent of Lebanon, Ohio, posting the fourth win in 2004. Nicely handled here this evening by winning driver J.D. Perrin. That's two wins on this evening's card for J.D., giving him a driving double here at Santa Downs, returning $61.60, $17.67, finishing second to three, four Tirid, returning $684, third to the five, Jenny's Wild Child, returning $8.80, fourth the four, Carolina Bob, eight, three exact is worth, get back to that late double, four and eight is worth $579.60. The late pick three, three of three, seven, four, and eight. Eight, three exact to $663.80.